check, 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 one, two. It is June 2nd, 2022. And I'm coming to you with another Sierra chart, C++ custom study. Uh, this one is going to probably be useful for a lot of the footprint traders out there who like to view uh, the footprint like I do um, a little bit wider. But then sometimes I need to get in and look at some details. And as you can see here, um, it's pretty hard to, to see what's going on. So usually I have to like hold down the control key and then expand this and I come in here and then I can start seeing some actual details on the footprint and now I can read the different levels. So I'm going to reset that and if you are facing a similar um, situation that I, I was, uh, this is going to help you. So what I built was a zoom toggle and uh, it's a little custom study. I'll go through the code in a little bit, but here is how the study actually functions. So if you don't care about the code and you just want to download it, you can use the link in the description to the GitHub page, compile it. Um, basically it consists of these inputs. This is the number of bars you want to see when you uh, zoom and this is the ASCII code for the key on your keyboard that you want to toggle the zoom. So I've put it at space, but you can look up the ASCII key code combinations and, uh, or rather the key codes, and then put in whatever you want. Like a period is four something, 46 tab I think is nine. Yeah, so you can you can go ahead and look those up on Google and find whatever key code you want to put in there. But basically if I do that, and then since I have it set to space, um, I have it set to space and show three bars. So if I hit the space bar, I'm inside the chart here. If I hit the space bar, it takes me to the three bars, nice and close up. If I hit it again, space bar, it takes me back to where I was. You see that? Real nice, quick. And if I were to say, let's say I just want to see the most recent one. If I hit the space bar, it'll show me one and back to this so I can really really quickly um, see what's going on in my uh, footprint so I'm gonna set that back to three there it is back at three um, really useful tool you can also set it to uh, uh, like I said other keys you don't have to use spacebar so let's just run through how this works here um, here's the function and I have my three inputs uh, enabled or not uh, number of bars preferred when zoomed and then the key code and we are going ahead and setting a limit on the number of um, or what the input can be for these key codes because you can't have negative uh, integer key codes um, and then we are turning on this receive character events which allows this study to listen for keyboard input while you're active in the chart meaning you're clicked here so if I'm clicked in another application this isn't listening but if I'm clicked in here it is the study will will receive key events. Um, if we're not enabled uh, based on the first uh, uh, setting, the input setting, then we just bomb out. Otherwise we grab the number of bars that you have set in here as your preferred number of bars to show when zoomed in. And then the key code, the ASCII key code that you want to use as a, as a trigger for that, for a toggle. And then here is the uh, place where we are saving to persistent memory in Sierra the prior number of uh, bar spaces, which is how we're going to return back and toggle off that zoom in, essentially. And we are also storing um, the uh, the previous number of bars that we showed uh, when we were zoomed in. So if we change this setting from 3 to 30, um, we will be able to detect that uh, change and update our, our calculations accordingly. And then this is grabbing the chart's current bar spacing, which actually corresponds to this number here. So you see this 66. So this means that bars are spaced 66, some kind of unit. I'm not sure which kind. Uh, maybe it's pixels 66 apart. Um, and there's 11 bars uh, displayed on this chart here. So um, how I know that is because I, well, first of all, can count. And secondly, I can take the index of the last visible bar minus the index of the first visible bar, add a one to it, and that's the number of visible bars that I have. And then also here, I am checking for an initial state on this previous chart bar spacing, because if we don't have it, we just added the study. We don't have this saved yet. We're going to want to do this calculation and set it. This is where we're grabbing the key code that we actually uh, intercepted that the study is listening for and then if it matches what we put into the input settings we enter this code block here and then if we get in here and we have a different um, 
this is tackling the situation for when you had an input setting of three bars to show when zoomed and you updated it to just one. Uh, this updates that calculation for you and then this is what actually does the toggling and sets the chart bar spacing to what you uh, what you would like to switch to either forward or backward meaning either from 11 or down to 3 or back to 11 this is the line that's actually doing that change and then this is updating the bar spacing um, so that uh, next time you know where you are at and that's it it's a really quick little one I'm gonna share this on uh, github so that you guys can use it uh, pretty useful little tool I think, and uh, actually can be used on a variety of different charts. It doesn't have to be used on just footprint charts. I'm actually using it on some volume profile charts just for testing as well, and it works great. So hope that helps.